read a story together, just like we do when we have children's time at church. We're going to read a story out of the Bible about a man named Saul who doesn't, isn't a friend of Jesus's at the beginning of the story, but by the end of the story, he is. And here's a picture. I can't hold it up and read at the same time, but there's the picture. And once we finish, I'll show you again, and you'll understand more about what it's about. The story is called A Changed Man. Saul was born into a Jewish family who lived in Tarsus, a university city in the Roman province of Sicilia. He was a clever young man and had learned Greek and Latin. In his hometown, he was known as Paul, which is the Roman form of his name. His family had been granted the privilege of Roman citizenship. But more than this, Saul was proud to be a Pharisee. He had studied under the famous Jewish teacher in Jerusalem. Saul was convinced that he must use all his energy to wipe out the new teaching about Jesus. One day, he set off for Damascus with letters from the Jewish council that would give him power to arrest followers of Jesus in the city and bring them to Jerusalem for trial. Armed guards went with him. They journeyed for about six days before the gates of Damascus at last came into sight. Suddenly, the brightness of the noon sun seemed to grow pale as a startling flash of brilliance lit up the sky and shone all around. Saul fell to the ground, stunned by the dazzling sight. There's Paul. Then a voice spoke to him. Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, came the reply. Every time you ill-treat one of my followers, you are ill-treating me. Go into the city, and you will be told what to do next, Jesus said. Saul struggled to his feet, but he could see nothing. He had been blinded by the light from heaven. The armed guards had seen the light that shone from heaven, but they didn't see the one who spoke to Saul or understood what was said. But when they realized that he was blind, they took his hand and led him to Damascus in Straight Street. Saul stayed there three days, praying and thinking about his vision. He didn't eat or drink. Meanwhile, Jesus spoke to Ananias, one of his followers in Damascus. Go to Straight Street, he told him. Knock on the door of Judas' house and ask to see Saul of Tarsus. He's expecting you. Ananias was horrified. He had heard all about Saul. But Lord, he said, Saul is our enemy. He's come on purpose to arrest us. He has become my servant, Jesus reassured him. I have chosen him to take the good news far and wide. Ananias set off obediently. As soon as he saw Saul, he went quickly across to him and put his hands gently on his shoulders. Brother Saul, he said kindly, Jesus himself, who spoke to you, has sent me here, so that you may see once more and may receive his Holy Spirit. At once, something like fish scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he could see again. Then Ananias baptized him, and he ate a good meal. I think this story is interesting for us because of what Jesus says, that when we treat somebody badly, we're treating him badly. And, and I think it's interesting then that Ananias, one of Jesus' friends, goes to Saul and treats him well, even though Saul wanted to treat him badly. I think that's something that we can think about. Let's pray. You can close your eyes and bow your head just like we do when we're together, and I'll say some words, and you can say them after me. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for letting us love you 
in the ways we treat other people. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you next week.